What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Simpa Billy hitting you with another Get Good Skyrim Guide, part number gold. In this episode, we're going to talk about two ways that I like to use to get my gold in Skyrim that aren't just playing the game like a normal human being. So, first, what you're going to want to do, the easiest way for everybody, doesn't matter when you're in the game, you pretty much know where White Run is. Come over here to White Run up towards the top section. And you're going to get on top of this house, jump over here. Uh, not like that. All right, you want it to look like this, and then you're just going to run back and forth here over and over, and you're going to slowly just clip up the side of this dude's house, and then you're going to get on top of this little beam here. Come on, there we go. Now that you're on top of the beam, you're going to want to get up on this dragon, on these dragon heads, and it, 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 this is probably the hardest part, I would say, is getting on top of the dragon heads. All right, now that we're on top of the dragon heads, I usually recommend just go ahead and save it so you don't have to do all that mess over again in case you don't make this jump. And then obviously save it right here just so, I mean, save you the hassle. And then just jump right down. Well, I messed that up too. That's why we save. All right, so you're going to want to like go down through here right on top of this. You'll know, ah, oh, well, we messed it up again. But you've seen there, there's a little crack. You're going to want to fall down through there. Uh, to just kind of shimmy your way down through here. Like that. There we go, and we made it. Now you need to watch out if you're a low level and you don't have any kind of armor upgrades or anything like that. You could die if you don't kind of catch that lip. So you definitely want to be careful and definitely save before you do it because you don't want to have to go through all that mess and just die there at the end. But what you're going to do now is just run around the entire outskirts of White Run until you come across what I'll show you here in a second. All right, so I believe it's about right here. Just you're gonna to want to come over here to where the Sky Forge is, over by the old Yorvasker. Old Yorvasker over here. Uh, you're gonna see this big ginormous hole in the ground, and it's not a normal kind of hole in the ground. Don't be, don't be, don't be afraid. You won't fall in there, and you just come right there between these two rocks. You'll see I've been down here before. Those armor pieces aren't usually down there, but you see a chest here floating in midair. You're gonna go interact with the chest. And then grab out literally whatever you want. Uh, this is a very good way to get crafting material and good armor for early in the game and stuff like that. Uh, this is actually the same thing that I use for the smithing guides and many of the uh, get good Skyrim guides for the skills. But I've already taken all of the gold out of it. So you come right, right here under the grindstone and just wait 24 hours twice. So you're going to wait two days. And then wait for the guy to get on the grindstone to try to talk to him. All right. Oh, well, okay. Now, if he walks off like that, like a little bee, uh, you just wait. Make sure you wait for him to grab onto that rope because every time he grabs onto the rope and starts blacksmithing, if you wait one hour, he will let go and walk over here to the grindstone. Yeah. Come over here. You're about to get thousands and thousands of dollars, or my bad, septums stolen from you. Get a quick upskirt shot like Britney Spears, and then you can see what he's got for sale. You'll see down there he has 1168 gold. You don't really have to do anything. A good way to up your speech, though, I just kind of want to plug all my other little Skyrim guides is that you can just sell and buy stuff from him over and over again to upgrade your speech. But then you see you get a thousand gold there, and you can do that over and over and over again. As many times as you can stand it, it usually gets, takes me about 10 times before I'm absolutely yorland out. But, uh, all right, on to the next little way to get gold. Now, if you don't want something near as mindless as just sitting there and waiting over and over again, you actually want to get good at the game or, you know, use the mechanics of the game like uh, killing people and stuff like that, this is the method for you. This method, all it, all it requires is that you've beaten the Dark Brotherhood. I feel like you guys know where this is going. Anybody who, uh, I don't even think I have on this character. Uh, no, I haven't. But anyway, I guess I'll just explain it to you real quick uh, while we go run around and look at some stuff. Uh, basically, what you're going to want to do is you'll get, after you've beaten the Dark Brotherhood, you'll get, unlock a quest called Dark Brotherhood Forever. What that's going to do is allow you to go through and fight like, or kill like eight different NPCs throughout Skyrim over and over and over again. Now, there's some like randomness to it, like it'll give them different names and stuff like that. But other than that, it's the same quest over and over again. And I think towards the end, you get like 1,600 gold or something like that. So it, it's, it's a nice way to kind of break up the monotony of just sitting there and waiting day in and day out up under Yorland's 
uh, booty hole. So if you don't want to do that, then go ahead and do the Dark Brotherhood forever. But, well, guys, that brings us to the end of the Get Good Skyrim Guide, part number gold. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you all so much for the new milestone. I'm not going to do a uh, uh, subscriber special every time I get 100 subscribers. I think that's kind of redundant. I think the big one was 100 for me. I think the next one will probably be 1,000 or maybe 500. Thank you guys so much for getting me to 200 subscribers. It is unreal that 200 people that I have no... Well, I know some of them, but most of them I don't have any idea who they are. And it's really, really special that I'm being able to kind of grow my grow this channel with a game that is so old like skyrim and minecraft anyway guys i hope you guys have a fantastic day but above all else thank you for your time